So good afternoon and thank you for coming. My name is Sadiq Sumar. I'm the Students' Union Vice President of Student Life. I'm joined by Students' Union President Colton Yamagishi, as well as Lister Hall Student Association Vice President Academic Robbie Wright, uh, Vice President Internal Morgan Patzel, and Vice President Operations Matthew Dalilana. To provide a very brief summary of what has happened in the last week, the Students' Union and the Lister Hall Students Association met separately with the representatives of the university administration on Monday, July 23rd. During the meeting, the student associations were presented with a number of very far-reaching changes to Lister, scheduled to take effect either immediately on September 1st, 2012 and September 1st, 2013. While it is true that the administration had previously brought forward small portions of this proposal, students have not been consulted in regards to this massive suite of changes. In fact, University administrators assured student representatives that consultation would continue in the fall after a stalemate in January. The administration has not only violated its 2009 Memorandum of Agreement with the LHSA and a motion passed by the University of Alberta Board of Governors, but it has also violated its own policy. From the SU and the LHSA's standpoint, we find not only the process but a number of these changes to be troubling. A number of the changes have been modified since the initial set of changes was released, bringing to light the question of whether or not the administration considered the full effect these changes would have on the Lister community and the LHSA itself. Fortunately, the culture and tradition we are trying to save in Lister has resonated with so many people that we are not alone in this battle. We have seen an outpouring of support from students and alumni lining up behind us to challenge these unilateral changes. As of this morning, over 350 form letters and many more personal letters have been sent to members of the university administration. 121 postcards have been posted on www.postcardsforlister.ca and over 3,000 students were joining up and making themselves heard over different forms of social media. Given that this announcement has come at a time when the vast majority of current and prospective students are not on campus, we find this to be remarkable and a real reflection of the impact these changes will have. Finally, before I turn the mic over to Robbie Wright from the LHSA, I would like to take this opportunity to directly address one group in particular. To the LHSA executives and summer employees, you have been doing a tremendous job with this situation, which reflects the leadership that has developed within the Lister Hall Students Association. If one can take anything from reading all these postcards, it is this. The home that we're fighting for has touched so many people, and we must do what we can to save it. Thanks, Sadiq. Um, good afternoon. My name is Robbie Wright and I am the Lister Hall Students Association Vice President Academic. I am joined today by Morgan Patzelt, Vice President Internal, and Matthew Dalalana, Vice President Operations. I will be representing the LHSA this afternoon. To the current students and alumni who have shown their support throughout the last week and a half, thank you for your kind words and your demonstration of the true spirit and culture that Lister represents. To the parents and community members, we appreciate all of the wisdom that you have imparted on us in the last few days. And we thank you for your gestures of support through email, media, and various other forms of communication. Together, our students' organizations have demonstrated to the administration that even in the summer, we are prepared to defend our students. We share the same goal as, administra as administration in doing what is best for the health and safety of our students, despite some comments that our organizations oppose change. Let me make it clear, we welcome change. The method in which administrators have implemented this change without the consultation and collaboration that their own agreements demand is what we disagree with. It is our hope that together, the LHSA, the SU, and the University of Alberta can collaborate to make Lister Hall North America's greatest undergraduate residence. 
I urge everyone to continue supporting this cause. The pressure is mounting. We are being heard. My name is Colton Yamagishi, and I'm the Students' Union President. I'm here to outline the procedure that the LHSA and the Students' Union will take from here. Last Friday, we provided the University with a proposal that they reverse the changes and we adopt a consultation framework to begin a real discussion to find the best solutions for the issues that inspired the original changes. The University Administration has since refused our very reasonable offer, and we've been left with no choice but to escalate the issue to the highest governing body of our institution and that of our province. We have contacted the University of Alberta Board of Governors and the Minister of Enterprise and Advanced Education to help find a resolution to the damage caused by the administration's breach in procedure. On Monday, the administration provided us with a set of confidential documents that they claim to have used to determine that the Lister residence was in a state of urgency and require the university to act in haste and skip the step of student consultation. After reviewing the documents, it is clear to us that none of their material constitutes a state of emergency, nor do they validate the need for the eight changes announced last Monday. The university administration is currently unwilling to correct the error in process committed, despite the clear opposition being demonstrated by the elected student representatives and the community. We are so appreciative of all the supportive comments coming in from students, parents, alumni, and prominent members of the community. It is clear that each party has the interests of the institution and the safety of our students in mind. It is because of this that we are hopeful that we will be able to demonstrate to the institution that proper consultation is necessary for the development of a proposal that will protect students, improve the institution, and repair the relationship between the administration and the students.